and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Karma. This is a deck that some people have been asking about with the new set coming out, like just what updates would it, would I make to it and, and things like that. Is it still good? All that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to find out today. We do have a few new cards in here. We got Eye the Dragon as our new two drop that um, lets us attune and can make some draglings because that's pretty cool. And then um, over the four mana slots, we got Concussive Palm, a good way to get an Ezreal trigger and also make a blocker. It's pretty nice for four mana spell. We got some Deep Meditations to draw some extra cards. Um, so that's what we got for new cards. But besides that, um, I, I kind of play a little bit of a different list from other people. I really like um, both Twin Disciplines and Spirit's Refuge to try to protect my Ezreal and my Karma. And especially Spirit's Refuge right now. Like, normally I'd probably just be playing two Twin Disciplines. Because the three mana is so much better than four mana. Especially with this curve. Look at how many four mana cards we have. It's just... It's kind of too many. But, with that being said, Burn is so popular right now. That I think this lifesteal is just so valuable. So we're going to have that... Uh, we're going to have one Spirit's Refuge in here. And another thing is I... Because Burn is so popular, I really like Health Potion. I think Health Potion is... Kind of like the answer to all these burn decks. Um, one mana, heal three. Um, just really, really good. So we're going to be playing a lot of health potion today. We're playing three different Ionia decks. They're all going to have health potions. Um, yeah, it's just a it's just a really good card. So let's, uh, let's try Ezreal Karma with health potion. It's a one mana burst speed spell. So for whenever we level up Ezreal, we get to cast health potions and... Um, and mushroom clouds and things like that. One thing that you may notice is I'm not playing Rummage. I have noticed whenever I'm playing these decks before that I haven't really liked Rummage. Rummage is usually just sitting in my hand doing nothing, waiting for me to maybe draw a Chump Lump and then Rummage away some mushroom clouds. But even at, at that point, like I want to have mushroom clouds anyway for after we level up Ezreal. So the, the Rummage, like actually using Rummage is always like really awkward. So I'm not playing Rummage. Um, with the addition of Deep Meditation for our card draw, I feel like that's good. Like, this this card is replacing a Rummage for me. Okay, so here we go. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go play five games over in Ranked. <clears throat> we are almost to Master's Rank. We need to win three more matches. Um, three more than what we've lost. So every, every loss cancels one out. Cool Warmonger. All right, I'll check this out. So this is your deep deck. Let's see. Let me go here. No champion Freljord Ionia. This is interesting. What would a Freljord Ionia... What? Like, is it just going to be elusives and then not play Zed so you don't know? If that's the case... I think I kind of like all this stuff. Let's get rid of the Palm. And... You know what? I'm going to get rid of Get Excited also. To start with. Thanks, B-Squared. Ugh. Usually against elusive deck, Static Shock's pretty good. But they may not be that. They may be a control deck. That's what it's kind of looking like. Everything costs four. Swift and yeah, looks the breeze. pretty elusive. I do think with, with your deck, if you have a third Lure of the Depths, you should be playing a third Lure of the Depths if you can. Okay. 
So we're gonna go with that so that I can um, thermogenic beam shoot that thing down for two. Cool. All right, so we're gonna have five mana. So five mana means means I the dragon plus static shot because I the dragon gives us an extra mana. So now we have six. All right, not bad, not bad. That's pretty good. I do like that card a whole lot. Retreat, return. That was pretty good. They're going to have some really big creatures coming up here soon. Because they've played two Omen Hawks. They played a Shared Spoils. Now they just played another Shared Spoils. They're going to have some really, really big creatures coming up here. <laughs> like, 5-5 five, five Omen Hawks. Hi, Rex. All right, what do we want to do? Nine mana. Kind of want to just go chump wump, chump wump. Is that my new dubstep song? Chump wump, chump wump. That's what it sounds like. Mm. That would fill up my hands. Oh, I can't even double chump wump. I'm at seven mana. What am I, what am I thinking? I could chump an assassin. That's not bad. So if they're playing that on my turn, that means they have another one in hand to play on their turn. Alright, give them 10 Mushroom Clouds to make a Dragling to block because of these large things that I need to block whenever they play another Hatchling. Or that's the plan. My plan's thermogenic beam Looking for a daring escape. on something. Five damage coming across, at least. You cannot escape. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Breathe in, breathe out. So 
so Ezreal... Hmm, they're just passing. Ezreal's at 5 out of 8. I'm going to play a new Ezreal, I think. I'm going to just play an Ezreal. And so then we have 6 mana. I'm going to play it. play it as a blocker. That thing's a problem. Being a 5 4. Alright, casting the Ezreal's Mystic Shots. So I still have access to the other Mystic Shots. My thinking with playing the Chump Wump was that I wanted a Mushroom Cloud to be able to discard to get excited for whenever we untapped. I know I wasn't going to be playing two spells, but didn't feel like we necessarily had to have two spells. So hoping that we were going to be able to play a Yone pre-combat, like they would play like another elusive thing and we would be able to play a Yone. What? That's really bad. I'm just dead. I only have three more direct damage. Fury of the North. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Just I need I need four damage and uh, I have three. So I don't I don't see any yeah, I don't see how any of that helps. I mean... I, the Will of Ionia made me wish that I didn't play the 4-3, obviously. Like, I wish I would have had the mana still to be able to replay Ezreal, but... I didn't. I think there was like I think they passed to me during that turn that I could have passed back like before they played their five four and Will of Ionia. I think I could have. I think they passed me and I could have potentially passed back and they did, wouldn't have had the five four or the Will of Ionia. Yeah, because like they passed me. I played Ezreal, then they played the five four, and then I played Chumpwomp, and then they Will of Ionia. To that's weird. It's got the exact same matchup again. That's tough. You don't see that too often. Assassin's a good good card to draw. They can do their shared spoils and stuff now. You have a lot of pump now with the shared spoils. I don't know, do y'all think that we should try out this elusive deck like my opponent's playing? I can recreate that deck fairly easily.
Hey, Toasted. No, standalone is... Oh, not not today. Not if you're talking about today. No, not today. No, I won't wouldn't play it today. This would be for like tomorrow. What if they just pass back? Looking for a daring escape. Hey, Mr. Brad. Um, yeah, we're we are playing a new um, and kind of a new version of Elusives right now. I'm pretty happy how that all turned out, honestly. Come on, stop. Elixir of Iron is absolutely amazing. It's probably the most underrated card in the game. Either that or Brittle Steel. Wow. What a hand. Bounce that, kill that. I mean, can I win without karma? Yes, probably not. Oh, I guess we have a backup karma. Never mind, we're fine. It's a karma's inside of ages. I thought for some reason this was a regular inside of ages that karma made, but no, like the karma made the rush, obviously, so. Really wish that karma would level up next turn and I'd be able to double static shock next turn. Really wish that was the case. Everything's better with <sighs> Why 
I, said, have, I thought that was going to be one toughness. That would have been nice. Well, if they don't have another pump spell, we can stabilize. By force of will. As if they don't have another pump spell. Obviously, if they have a pump spell, we lose. And they sure do. Battle Fury. I think I would call that a pump spell. Battle Fury. I think we could call that a pump spell. Alright, so we've found that our deck is not good against our opponent's elusive deck. They have too much pump for all those elusives. And too much... Too many tricks. Like, both Elixir of Irons, that was really, really nice that they had those two Elixir of Irons. That was... That was a huge deal. Alright, different matchup. Hopefully different results. Usually, like, Mulligan and get excited from the opening hand because it requires you to discard a card. Which, you know, that means it's card disadvantage, and that is hard to... It's hard to do early on in the game. It's a lot easier to cast that later on, like, late in the game. You maybe know, like, what kind of card you have that's extra. Hey, Moonlight, thank you so much for the resub. Get some hype in the chat for one of the best viewers moonlight thank you so much uh, which deck would I personally recommend I would recommend um, Sejuani frostbite what I have the deck labeled, but whoops. That's what I, that's the deck I'd recommend. Okay, anyway. Um, we'll just... We'll play this as a real one. My opponent's deck is not normally the kind of deck that uh, plays very much for removal. I'm hoping we can... Oh, we have a backup as well. I'm hoping we can just, like, get a bunch of free Mystic Shots, basically. See, this works pretty well. We can Mystic Shot that thing, and then we'll have Thermogenic Beam from Maokai. That worked out pretty well. And that's casting two spells, so we'll get a 2-1 next turn. Even the 2-1 next turn is not... You know, it's like, keeps them from attack... Keeps them from attacking for, like, one. No, they will never bloom. We're playing No Fun Allowed. Dot deck. Where are you? 
No, you are amazing as well, Rex. Watch and learn. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Three mystic shots. Uh, let's see. Ezreal is at three out, out of eight. This would be four and five. If I want to throw the mystic shots at, I don't know, Thorny Toad. I don't want to do that. That'd be, but that'd be number six. I'll just do this first. Kind of a weird play for my opponent. They can either, yeah, so they, they can pass because they know I have to cast this Mystic Shot and then they can play something afterwards. Um, kind of want to get the target in. Yeah, I just want to level up this Ezreal. I feel like. Firing. Obviously, we would never cast a normal Mystic Shot on that spider. Obviously. But I just want to get the target in for leveling up. Also, maybe I don't need to get the target in because I have Concussive Palm and Yone. We can do three targets. Um... Oh, wait. I meant you to block. Oh, whatever. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bread. Thank you. Corruption everywhere. Sorry to hear that, but I'm you know happy to have you here. They're about to level up. I want to get excited to kill the, um, I know to kill this crazy. thing, but I, I don't think I can. They're only three away from deep. There's just too many cards they could play, uh, in response to get rid of that. So, let's go with... I'm sorry. Let's go with the Concussive Palm. And that will level up Ezreal. So now we can attack for a bunch. Elusive. And we'll just finish them off. Firing. I'm not going to cast the Ezreal's Mystic Shot though, because just in case they kill this Ezreal, we need we need to have the backup just in case something weird happens. I'm not necessarily expecting anything weird to happen, but you know, just in case. Uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That thing. All right, let's pass. They do all their attack and stuff. Trash! You 
not escape. Your lesson begins. I guess this levels up now, Kai. Uh, that's probably bad for me. I should have leveled. Oh uh, man, I should have checked Maokai. Maokai was at 24 out of 25. I should have checked before I blocked and killed that thing. That was probably unnecessary. I mean, we should still be able to kill them fairly easily, but that was probably unnecessary. Take some mushrooms first before you start drawing cards. Just get to play it real safe. Like, yeah, I can fire these things at them, but... Do you get to just play it very safe? Which maybe I'll end up regretting, who knows? They're down to two. I get to attack first. So now they need to respond. Uh, I mean, this is burst. Can't respond to burst. It's just lethal. All right, one and two. There you go. We got out of the elusive bracket, and we picked up a W. How does it feel winning with Ezreal? Shake my head. Yeah, not great. Not great. I would not mind if... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, it's definitely not one of my favorite cards. But there's a lot of people that, that like it. You know, Ezreal. I like Karma Ezreal, and so... Um, you know, I'm, I'm not, uh, one to judge or anything, and I, I want to play as, I want to play everything, you know, I want to, even if it's not my favorite, it's still good, can't deny that it's good, and I want to play everything and try to give, try to give people good lists, you know, like, I, I like this, you know, like, this is my recommended Karma Ezreal list. Especially for the burn metagame that we are in. That's going. The, the question is, is do we keep deep meditation? We're keeping karma, keeping will of Ionia. Do we keep deep meditation? I think the answer is no. Definitely want will of Ionia in, um, you know, against standalone. I'm guessing they had a poor mulligan. I guess. Let none disturb my meditation. I don't know. They like frowny faces. I just I don't want to trade like six mana for a barrier. Nice, he got a capsule upgraded to epic. And then the up, the epic got upgraded to a champ. Nice, B squared. Awesome, congrats. Will bring 
peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. So couldn't play anything on turn four because I spent the six mana on turn three. Because got to have eight mana on turn five to be able to protect Karma. Now the fact that we have a second Karma in hand is that flawed thinking. Very likely. So I feel like if I if I would thermogenic beam that they would um, single combat, Do not fear the and that would be bad. I walk your path alone. Yeah, it looks like that was flawed thinking. Because now, man, I am in a lot of trouble. Well, at least they're not going to rally, I guess. Yeah, I play this too scared. Looks like we're dead. These elusive decks are tough. Just filled with a bunch of elusives and, and pump spells and, you know, protection. Like, really cheap protection for removal. Seem to be some tough matchups. I should discard Chump Womp, shouldn't I, instead of that 7 mana spell or Deep Meditation. Like, we're not playing either of those. Yeah, GG's. GG's. I played like I had much more time than what I actually ended up having. Throughout the early stages of that game, specifically turn four...
So that's always been a tough matchup for Karma. As yeah, that's that's all all three. Like we've we've lost to two decks, but they've been the same. They've been the exact same deck. We've lost to one deck, and it's a really tough matchup for Karma. As and we've just got paired against it three out of four times. But, I mean the the standalone and that elusive. Like, they're the exact same deck, as far as the matchup is concerned. So that's pretty unfortunate that, you know, like, I, I finally play Karma as and get a video, and, and all I do is I play against a, a bad matchup three times. That's that's pretty unfortunate. And, uh... I did what I thought were good decisions at the time, but ended up not being so much. At least, not all the time, you know, like, a couple of times. Not the best representation of Karma Ezreal in the metagame. Or Ezreal Karma, I guess it's called. Of Ezreal Karma in the metagame, but it's that's not something I get to choose. I don't get to don't get to choose what I play against. All right, let's get some mushroom clowns. Get a blocker for the black market merchant. I'm pretty jealous. I like being on my opponent's side of this kind of matchup slash game more than my side. All right, so. Basically, instead of thermogenic beaming for three, if I was gonna use lose the mana anyway, I'm gonna throw the mushroom cloud out there. Now that has that has good and bad properties. The bad property is that I'd rather have that in my hand for whenever we level up Ezreal eventually. But the good property is I get to deep meditation now for two mana instead, which that's pretty nice. It's okay, Nick. Yeah, you can you can send him a, a message as well if you if you'd like. Um. All right, play more chump pumps. Ah. Be nothing left when I'm done. R -R. Thank you. Thank you. Let's 
So I wonder if I'm supposed to just be playing it, getting Ezreal out there, especially how we have the Spirit's Refuge to protect. Like, you know, once once we have the mana for that, that is. Oh, right, was I supposed to just vulnerable the powder kegs? Maybe that was. Maybe that was the play with the attack, was just vulnerable to powder kegs. All right, we actually get to play Yone. That's a first. Actually play Yone. It's good leveling. Up to four. Oh, wow. Um, yep. That was a thermogenic beam they took from me. Not something I was particularly expecting, obviously. That's a great draw, the Karma, that's a great draw. Turns on plunder. I mean, I can't stop it from turning on plunder. One's looking like the Ezreal deck over here. Still four mana. No. Can't even barrier to keep that alive. Um, what are you at? Four at eight? Would possibly be better to play Ezreal than get excited. Don't blink or you'll miss me. Obviously I wish I had the, the mana just play Chump Wump here instead. No, is this Riptide Rex? Yes, it is. That card is pretty good. Um, I don't know. What do we want to do? Ugh. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. They're doing 14 damage to this. Well, I'm not really stopping that. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Hey, 
Gucci. We are we are getting plundered. Our our resources and our life total are getting plundered. Wish I had one more mana. I want to block with Spirit's Refuge. And cast one of these things. Three life. Can we stabilize? This'll send them running. Why are you gonna attack with the tutu? They have a parlay? Oh, they don't have a parlay. Oh, it does one damage to anything, so it doesn't matter. Ranking down. All right, so there's Ezreal Karma. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know exactly what to say. Um, you know, we. Our first three losses were all the same deck, all uh, a poor matchup with, um, you know, an aggressive an aggressive deck, that plays very cheap, very big creatures because they're just using a lot of pump spells. And because they're using a bunch of pump spells and they're also using, you know, using a bunch of pump spells means that the, the our damage removal just is, can't kill stuff because they use a lot of pump. And uh, they're also elusive, so we don't get a block. And that's how we lost our first three. And then, you know, played against the Bilgewater deck and lost. And then played against, I don't know, something else and won the the sea monsters sea monsters felt like a pretty easy matchup bilge water duck's pretty good the the real the real turning port turning point in that bilge water matchup besides the riptide rex but it was them stealing my thermogenic beam and i played a yone thinking it was going to be safe and i was going to be gaining a bunch of life with the yone with the refuge and stuff like that and they had the my thermogenic beam to deal six damage to Yone. That was a huge, uh, huge thing. Um, so yeah, so I don't know. I've, I've never been a, a big fan of this deck, um, just play style wise. And so I, I never felt that I've, I've been the best Karma Ezreal player because it's just not my kind of play style. It's just not, it's not a, a kind of deck that, that I really enjoy of um you know just sit back target a whole bunch of stuff acquire a bunch of resources in hand and then play champions and cast all your resources and kill your opponent real fast i don't know it's kind of boring to me but you know everybody's different and um yeah so i know there's a lot of people that are having success with the deck um we didn't play against any burn, which that's that's something that that I have been seeing just a ton of on the ladder and everything. And so that's why I got these health potions. But these health potions weren't super useful because we never really played against burn, and it's it's not good enough against um, large creatures. But it is good. It's it is amazing against burn spells. So like, would I recommend the deck? I don't know. Um, I mean, if this is your kind of thing, then yeah. Just because I went one four, I can't just say that no, the deck's bad and I shouldn't recommend it. Like, no, if you if you like this kind of deck, go ahead. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the list. If you if you're looking for um, the list that I would approve of here. All right, so that's about all I got. So that's Ezreal Karma. If you're watching on YouTube, got any questions or any comments or anything like that, feel free to uh, leave a comment below. And of course, hit that like button. But thank you so much for watching some Ezreal Karma, and I'll see you for the next video.